Don't tell me how I feel. I know you're with the wrong man. I can see it every time you look at me. Two whole pages of movies. Come on, there's got to be something you want to see. I'm looking online. There's nothing. Nothing you want to go to with me. Look, bring a friend along and I'll pay. What friend? I don't have any. Well, that's not true. What about Phoenix? Give him a call and see what he's doing tomorrow. I already know anything but hanging out with me. Why would you say that when you're so much fun to be with? Are you going to be like this all weekend? Probably. Oh, no wonder your mother was so keen for you to stay. You choose a super movie. I don't care. Well, you don't need oxygen anymore. That's got to be a good thing. And your heart rate and temperature are back to normal. You're a very lucky man, David. When are you going to let me out of this hellhole? As soon as we can, I promise. I think I've heard enough promises from your lot. I guess I can understand that. Mr King, how are you feeling? Getting there. It's much better. Good. I'm here to apologise on behalf of the hospital. Is that right? We take full responsibility for what happened. I can only say in our defence that resources were unusually stretched during introduction of our private services. It was an unusual set of circumstances, and I promise you it won't happen again. Well, I won't be back to find out, will I? No. I don't suppose we can blame you for that. These are for you, with our sincere apologies for everything that you've been through. What are they? Supermarket vouchers, $100 worth. I hope that's not meant to be some sort of bribe. Oh, of course not. David King? You found me. Come in. Gary Cousins, the Northerner. Thanks for coming. How's the wedding planning coming along? Slowly. Yeah. I haven't ordered the ice sculpture or the horse drawn carriage yet. I hope you're joking. <laughs> I know Libby. It's not exactly the fairy tale wedding she's always dreamed of, though, is it? the two of us and some friends in a pokey little registry office. I hate to break it to you, Gerald, but it's the green card she's fantasising about, not the honeymoon. No, I know. All she's going to care about is getting a ring on that finger. Well, this is what I have to do. Buy the ring. I thought I'd surprise her, splash out, buy something real. This place is expensive. Oh, tell me about it. Don't go spending all your life saving. You'll need every dollar when you get to the States. You ready? More then. Have you made plans for your day off? That sounds ominous. Harry's soccer trip has been cancelled. I have no idea what I'm going to do with him for the day. And what about his nanny? Well, his nanny is in Sydney for the weekend. I think I'm paying her too much. Ah. I've had a look at the surgical list. And you want me to fill in for you? Well, that would be Harry's preferred option. Mine too, if I thought I could get away with it, but not this time. Hi. Look at this. Gerald's choosing a ring for Libby. Oh, my God. Careful. She really will fall in love with you. Oh. <laughs> Want me to spend the day with Harry? Fine, it'll be fun. Are you sure? Mm. What else have I got to do? Look at this one. <sighs> you look worn out. I am. Did you know David King was readmitted? No. Complications, which pretty much sums up my day. What happened? Hypothermia, septicemia. After a cholecystectomy. I know. Of course, it had to happen after we discharged him too early. He discharged himself against medical advice. Well, that's not how the media's going to spin it. I just left him spilling his guts to a reporter. Oh, dear. So, I have a press release to write before tomorrow morning. After dinner. And please, let me help you. No, it's my mess. I'll tidy it up. All right. Any other complications? Yeah. On top of everything else, I had Wendy Cooper knocking on my door in a tiz. Apparently, some of the public patients are trying to bribe the nurses to bring them private standard meals. After all the hard work we did redesigning the menu. Exactly. They're getting better food than most of them get at home. Do they appreciate it? No. So what did you say to Wendy? Um, I told her to organise a meeting with Scotty in the morning. That's all I had the energy for. I better make a start on this press release. Get that, will you, mate? 
Ah, oh, good. You had a beard. So far, my plan is working. Hey. Maxwell, welcome. Morning. Uh, can I pour you a coffee? I'd offer you breakfast, but I'm not that organised. <laughs> nah, you're all right. I'm uh, making pancakes later. I had to I'd run down the supermarket to grab some stuff, and I thought I'd swing by and see if Phoenix wanted to hang out with Ola. She's staying with me. Go for it. Do I have to? You could go and find Harry and Isaac, but wouldn't you rather be with someone your own age? Free food. I even chuck in the movie. I've got homework. Well, how long is that going to take? Well, you can do it last thing Sunday like every other kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's the alternative? Hanging around here by yourself? Come on, mate. I know she wants to see you. Did she say that? Well, she didn't need to. You guys had a falling out or something? Bit of one, yeah. Perfect time to put things right. Hey, Harry. What are you doing here? We were on our way to the park, but Isaac had to pick some stuff up. Huh? Research for next week. Oh, that's impressive. You never used to be that swatty. Maybe I've changed. Maybe you have. Good friend Luke seems to think so. What's he been saying? Oh, you know, this and that. Wouldn't want to embarrass you. Oh, Luke's okay once you get to know. Hopefully he said something similar about me. He did. So what are you doing here anyway? It's the last place I thought I bummed you. <sighs> Sorry. It wasn't a complaint. I uh, had to drop Maya and Nicole off. And then I was going to have a chat with Scotty about maybe picking up some shifts, but uh, he was busy. Well, what are you doing now? Home, probably. Well, I'm gonna need a coffee soon after this one runs me into the ground. Go easy on him, eh? <laughs> we could go now if you like. I thought we were going to the park. Yeah, just a quick one. I think someone would rather be at the park. Later then. Yeah, uh, sure. Next week sometime, yeah? Have fun. Can we go now? Yes, all right, we're going. Don't be so impatient.